Welcome back. Well, we are going to finish our top plays of the fall season. But before we do, we've got to check on our final fall team in action right now. Yeah, and the man standing by watching all the action, Spencer Tillis. Spencer, what's going on? Brought down by... Thanks, guys. Well, quick update on the action over here early on. I mentioned how Troy Haynes threw that pick six. Well, he totally redeemed himself by running in a 21-yard touchdown run. A two-point conversion was good by Richard Massey. That gave them an eight-point lead. But hold the phone right now because Wilmington Friends is down to the five-yard line. They're going to have an opportunity maybe of running this one in, go for that two-point for a tie. Running out of time, though, just 7.29, and the clock is running, so we'll see if Wilbridge can pull this off. As always, we're going to have full highlights and a recap of this one later on tonight on 47 ABC, but I'm going to send things back over to the studio to you guys. Well, I almost feel like we should be just staying right there. I know, I know. I Let's just keep one. it on Spencer, but <laughs> yeah. Spencer's, like, keeping himself yes. calm right now, yes. and I know on the inside he's just... Jumping for joy. Yeah, jumping for joy. He loves <laughs> All right, let's thriller. get to these final three plays. Our number three is going to come from Indian River Soccer's Johan Cordoba. Just watch what he does on this play right here. In the, it was in a state semifinal game. Go ahead and roll the video. State semifinal game. Watch this play right here. Unreal. Uh, right there. I don't know how he made that kick? happen. That Almost a, it's like a hot, half bicycle kick yeah. right there where he settles it on his chest and then he just blasts it past the keeper for the win. Check it out one more time. Right there, settles it with the foot and then kicks it with the same foot. It's like almost a bicycle pass. Yeah, it is. That kid yeah. is an acrobat. And that's a great play. They went to the state final, would lose in that game, but hey, he gets to play number three. Hey, congratulations, man. All right, to play number two, it's getting close, Trey. We're almost at number one. Yes. Seconds left here in the North Carolina Woo. Kent Island game. This, this was, was a, a heartbreaker yes, if you were on the wrong side. Yes. Bulldogs going to kick the game winning field goal, but it was blocked. We'll Braden take another Doyle. look. Kent Island returns it for a touchdown and wins the game 21 to 14. Absolutely crushing. Braden. Check it out. Who expected that to happen? The game winning oh. field goal oh, right there. To it's go in up their there, hands. And they were running the clock out to try to get this game right. over and kick the game winning field goal to have it go all the way the other way. That is just heartbreaking. Now, coaches across Delmarva are probably watching that and rethinking yes. their late game strategy. Yes. Go for the I would touchdown. imagine. Go for the touchdown. I would be time. terrified if yes. I saw that happen. All right, time for our number one player of the it. fall season. Headed back to the University of Delaware, where for in the first time in school history, the Delmar Wildcats ladies field hockey team Incredible. won their first ever state championship. And I'll tell you what. Three to nothing against a Tower Hill team that beat their rival, wow. Kate Henlopen. For the first time ever, they are your state champions. Going to put a, their first female banner in the gym. That is amazing. Unbelievable. Yes. Congratulations to the Del Mar Wildcats yes. on a fantastic yes. season. And yes. for giving us so many highlights, thank you. We <laughs> thank appreciate you. That's it. it. <laughs> that's right. So that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. If you missed anything, it'll all be on our website, 47abc.com. That's right. Until next week, people, have a great night.